Hey everybody, it's Phantom 321 here bringing you some more 5th gen Wi-Fi battles. This is an NU match I got against someone by the name of Sultan of Suave. And this was actually a pretty good match, so let's just go ahead and be in the match. Okay, so for the first Pokemon we're each going to send out, I'm going to go ahead and start off by sending out my Matang. And he's going to go ahead and start off by sending out his Gardevoir. This is bad for both of us because both of us can't really do much damage to each other because, well, my Matang's more of a wall. Typically when I play... Pokemon, I typically like to start off by sending out one of my walls. So, in this one, I like to send out my Matang. And as you can see here, I got locked into Encore, so I'm locked into Stealth Rocks, which sucks. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into a different Pokemon, which is gonna be my Tauros, because I was hoping Tauros could live any of the Gardevoir's attacks and then hopefully finish it off with maybe a uh, Rock Climb. And so, I'm gonna go for the Rock Climb just to see how much it does. And as you're about to see here, the guard of war is gonna survive with one hp left and that sucks because i just lost my tauros and it didn't kill any pokemon but what can you do so now i'm kind of happy i switched out into my matang because as you're about to see here he goes for the destiny bond and I, when i checked out his team i instantly knew matang was going to be the most useless one in my team so i'm just going to sacrifice my matang and that's going to be the end of his guard of war and it's going to take my pokemon along with it so now I'm gonna, or he's gonna go ahead and switch out into his Swana, and I made a nice switch because I switched out into my Electabuzz. So now this is pretty good for me because he's obviously gonna have to switch out into a different Pokemon, and the Pokemon that he's gonna switch out into is gonna be his Rotom Electric form. And since he switched, I managed to get a free substitute, which is good because now my Electabuzz is protected. And I'm gonna go for the Hidden Power Ice just to see how much it does because it is super effective, and that did a decent amount of damage, but it was a critical hit. But the good thing is that he set up a substitute, but he's too weak to actually set it up. I went for the charge beam, but he avoided the attack. He's going to go for the thunderbolt, and that's not very effective. And my sub didn't break, so that was kind of bad for him. So now I'm going to go for the charge beam and finish off his Rotom. And once it's down, my special attack's also going to be increased. So now he's going to go ahead and switch on to his next Pokemon, which is going to be his Miltank. And at this point, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt just to see how much a Thunderbolt does on the middle tank because I just, or my special attack just got increased. So that did a decent amount of damage and he's going to go for the Body Slam and he's going to end up breaking my substitute, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So now he's going to go ahead and get some leftover recoveries and I'm going to go for the Charge Beam just to see how much it does. And I want to increase my special attack some more so uh, just so I can try and sweep the rest of his team. And he's going to go for a Body Slam and I take it quite nicely. So for this next move, I, this is actually pretty good on my part. I set up the substitute, and he went for the toxic, so that kind of sucked for him. So now I'll have a free substitute up, and I'm going to be able to go for a charge beam again just to increase my special attack some more. I probably should have just gone for the thunderbolt and then taken that thing down, but whatever. I went for the charge beam, and he's going to go for the body slam. I think that's going to break my substitute. Yes, it yes it does okay so now i'm gonna be able to finish off his mill tank with a thunderbolt and that's gonna be a dead mill tank now he's gonna go into his next pokemon which is gonna be his swana and well let's just say my electabuzz is kind of bulky at this point he's gonna go for the ice beam and my electabuzz somehow lives it with six hp and i'm gonna be able to finish off that swana with a thunderbolt uh this match i get really lucky twice later on you're about to see that i actually do end up getting really lucky now he's going to go ahead and switch out to his next Pokemon, which is going to be his Sawsbuck. And he's going to finish off my Electabuzz with the Horn Leech. So, yeah, he just recovered like nothing for his HP. So now my Electabuzz is dead, and now I'm going to have to switch out into my next Pokemon, which is going to be my Magmortar. So for my Magmortar, I'm just going to go straight up for the Fire Blast, hoping to take down his Sawsbuck. And he's going to go for the Wild Charge, but my, my Magmortar ends up taking it. So I'm going to go for the Fire Blast and finish off his Pokemon. Now that his Pokemon's dead, I believe he's down to one final Pokemon, and his final Pokemon I believe is going to be his Weezing, so let's just go ahead and see. Yep, it's his Weezing. And I'm going to go for the Fire Blast, hoping to KO this Weezing, but the Weezing avoided it avoided the attack, which sucks. So he's going to go for a Sludge Bomb, and I somehow managed to live it, but I get poisoned, which sucks on my part. And he, right here, he's going to get some leftover recoveries, and I'm hoping I can survive the poison, and I end up surviving it with 9 HP left. So I'm going to be able to finish off the Weezing with the Fire Blast, and that's going to be the end of the match. 